Hello, welcome to the program exam solution tutorial. We're looking at the computer science uh, paper one for 2016, it's the warships code. And for this one, we're going to look at adding a new ship type. As always, make sure that you're doing the right exam. There's my Google Docs link so you can have a look at all the suggestions I've made. Right, new ship type, quite easy. There's uh, about four changes to make. Um, Plus, we need to make a very, very small change just so we can actually test it. Uh, I reckon this is quite a nice 10 marker, actually. Uh, all these arrays are to... Sorry, all these arrays are being mad. Uh, all of these uh, procedures are more or less together so that it makes it quite easy for you to evidence it. Whether that makes a difference, I'm not sure, but uh, it's certainly one you need to know how to do. Let's flick to the code. So we're going to start off with uh, looking at uh, setup ships. And I'm just going to move that over slightly so you can see. Uh, setup ships. We've got the uh, array of records being uh, assigned just literally, nothing flash, and what we're going to add, I'm just going to copy and paste the patrol boat and I'm going to make sure I'm assigning it to a new element of the array of records and I'm not going to call it a rowing boat uh, and I'm going to call it a frigate and we'll make it size 3. Okay. Obviously now we're assigning outside the bounds of the array so I guess we ought to change the size of the array. So we've got um, a new element to the array of records and I've made that the array of T-ship bigger. I don't need to change the structure itself at all. Um, right now we need to make some changes. I'm going to need to zoom out so you can see. It's a bit annoying because obviously this is a very very big uh, selection statement. But I'm hoping you're familiar enough with the code. So we've got uh, two places print board and check win with effectively checking uh, each location on the board and we're checking it for each type of uh, ship. Uh, it's not massively efficient code I've got to be honest I, I've done it a different way but the exam board has chosen to do it this way. Um, so let's add in our rowing boat to this. And you can see we've now got uh, an extra element, which is uh, uh, F for frigate for both of these um, selection statements. Um, space in there. So we've added in setup ships, we've made the array size bigger, and now we have uh, adjusted the two selection statements, one for check win, and one for print board, and that's everything we actually need to check, uh, to change. If I was to test, well, we can do a very quick test now. A uh, really quick test, if I start a new sh game, uh, we can see that it's the computer's placing frigate, that's lovely, but we can't actually see if it's been placed. So what we need to do is just expose the board, and the way we do that, I'll zoom back in again, is, uh, on print board, you can see that I've got um, this if statement which effectively controls uh, what gets shown. If the array holds a dash, print, print space. If it holds uh, an A or a B or an S or whatever, or an F, then also put a space. So all we need to do is to change that so that it's showing board row column. So all I want to do is delete that, put that there, control C, V, and now when we run the code, we can see all of our ships, um, and that's going to greatly aid testing. There's our frigate, 
Don't I'll forget that. So all we did was to change what gets written if a ship gets found for testing. That is how you add a ship into this code. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, leave comments if you want me to do anything else.